The following video is sponsored by The Toy Tomb, covering toys from the 60s, 70s, and early 80s. Good day, everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game Space 1999. This game came out from Milton Bradley in 1976, and it is for two to four players. All right, now this game plays very similar to Chinese checkers, and uh, the object of the game is you're going to be trying to get four of your spaceships from one side of the board to the other. Uh, this game is adapted from a television show of the same name that was made back in the day. Uh, one of the unique elements of this game is that there is a rotating board in the middle that is going to change the position of your pieces uh, as the game is played. So, without further ado, let's show you this game. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and show you the uh, components of the game really quick. Right here you have your board, and uh, as you can tell, it's rather vintage looking. Um, and it has this rotating disc here in the middle that you're going to be spinning throughout the game. And uh, it spins like this, or you can spin it the other direction as well. Um, right here you have what are called your eagles, and each player is going to be receiving four of these. And what you're going to be trying to do is you're going to be trying to get your eagles to the opposite side of the board, similar to Chinese checkers. Uh, so in this case, blue would go over here, green would go here, yellow here, and then red here. Uh, now if you look, you'll see that there are these two circles here. Um, and the outside circle basically means uh, that what your home planet is. So if you're blue, blue is going to go over here. The inside circle is where you are heading to, uh, the home planets that you're heading to, and so in this case, I would be heading over here. Right here you have your die. Uh, there's uh, six numbers on here, one through three, and uh, some of the numbers are green and some of the numbers are red. And depending on what you roll, that is what is going to determine which direction um, the wheel is going to go. And you're going to be able to move your guys off of the planet here onto the board uh, one space. So in the beginning, everyone's going to go ahead and move one space. So let's say I move here, yellow moves here, green moves here, and let's just say red moves over here. So the next thing that's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and roll this die. And uh, the number that I roll is basically going to determine how far the wheel is going to go. And the color is going to determine the direction. So if I roll the green one, I would go ahead and turn the wheel one notch to the left. Uh, and if it was a red one, it would go one notch to the right. Now, interestingly enough, the instructions say that if you roll a three, the board does not move. I don't know why they didn't put a zero there, but it's a 70s, so I don't know. But anyway, uh, so let's say everybody's already moving, so let's just say I roll this die. Let's just say I roll the red three, nothing happens. But let's just say I rolled a uh, green two. I'm going to go ahead and start spinning the wheel this way, one notch and then two notches. And as you can see, uh, the uh, colors have all the, the pieces have already relocated on the board. And so now everybody's going to get a chance to move again. Now, uh, everybody's going to be allowed to jump uh, your pieces as well. You can jump your own piece or you can jump your opponent's pieces, similar to Chinese checkers. So if it turned out that I uh, green was over here, for example, and yellow went, yellow could jump here and then jump over this player uh, like so. Let's just say I went ahead and moved again. Let's just say uh, blue moved there. I already moved yellow. Let's just say red decided to go here and jump. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll the die again. And again, I've rolled a red three, but let's just say I rolled a, let's just say I rolled a red one. So now I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go one notch over, and that is where uh, the turns are going to end. And so that's basically how the game is going to work. Now, the way you're going to end up winning the game is uh, whenever you are able to get all of your pieces onto the other side. Uh, so, for example, if uh, I ended up having blue over here on this side like so, and let's just say on my turn I ended up jumping over here or something like that, I'll end up winning the game because I have gone from one side of the board to the other. And that is basically how you play Space 1999. So, my thoughts on Space 1999. Well, the first thing I want to say is thank you to the Toy Tomb and to my friend Willie for sending me this game to review. Thank you very, very much. Um, first thing I noticed about this game, it says it's ages 8 to 12. And I'm thinking to myself, that's a very small part of your lifespan that you can actually enjoy this game. It's just four years. It's like after you're 12, well, no more fun. Or before you're 8, well, it's no fun. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is really not the case because this is a game that we enjoyed playing. Uh, now, Chinese Checkers has been around for a long time, and, you know, that's typically an adult game, but you can play with kids, obviously. Since this game plays very similar to Chinese Checkers, my opinion, adults can enjoy this game as well. Um, now, the unique thing about the game is the rotating board. Uh, now, when we have played this game, it does make the game rather interesting because depending on where the board ends up getting turned to, you can end up being really close to the planets that you're 
you're trying to get to, or it could actually end up dragging you back. And you, it turned out like while we were playing this game, we ended up, at least for me, uh, I would end up getting drugged back and back further, and it was like I was trying to play catch-up constantly, kind of like I was trying to uh, swim upstream. Um, but this is a rather enjoyable game. I like the way the board lo looks. This is a very vintage game, and it has that vintage space-like feel to it. Uh, the rotating board is definitely a cool concept for this as well. All right, now if you end up finding this game somewhere at a thrift store, I would definitely pick this game up. This is not an uh, easy-to-find game, and I think it goes for about $40 or so on eBay. Um, it's definitely a pretty cool little uh, variant to Chinese checkers. Uh, now, interestingly enough, if you've ever played Chinese checkers, you've got quite a little ways to go before you get from one side to the other. Uh, this board doesn't have as much space in between, but the rotation of the board is what makes the game interesting. So definitely a pretty cool game, and I would recommend it to anybody who likes Chinese check show fondly. So guys, that is my uh, review of Space 1999. I hope you all have a great day, and you all check out the Toy Tomb on Facebook. It's a pretty cool page. Thanks, guys. Keep on gaming.